Hi everyone, welcome to Isle 2 Stormovic, Battle of Kuban. Here we are, Taf Exalski, he's enlisted into the 244th uh, Bomber Command. I thought after last week's uh, video with the P-40, we'll have a go at uh, the bombers and see how we do from a bomber point of view. And we can then take the decision if we want to go ahead in a fighter aircraft or in a bomber aircraft. Ideally, I'd like, obviously, to be able to incorporate both land and air battles in uh, a series. It'll make it a little bit more option and give us more options to do things as well, like a ground attack fighter, I'm thinking, or a, a, a bomber that's um, more than capable of holding its own. So here's our profile for Taf Exalski. Um, we've joined the, uh, the 244th Bomb Air Regiment, as you can see, the BAP. Good. Right, so planning room. Let's go and see where is on the boards today. So pending mission, 9.33 on the 18th of April uh, 1943. Here we are with our buddies and we've got the A-20B bomber, which is obviously an American aircraft. Uh, let's start the mission and uh, read our full mission briefing. Okay, here we are for the mission briefing. Enemy airfield bombing strike. The 244 BAP. There we are, number three, wingman number three. Uh, your fighter cover should meet you at point two, marked on your flight. So we're taking off from here. Here we should meet up with our escort. Obviously coming, you can see the front line here. Into enemy territory. Um, take off 9.33. Weather cloudy at 1,700 meters. We've got the weather balloon reports there. Altitude of the airfield is 57 meters. Target altitude is going to be 3,000 meters. Estimated target altitude for, uh, uh, 54 meters. Uh, it's 18 degrees Celsius and it's looking lovely. Um, you are ordered to bomb the enemy airfield designated by waypoint 3 of your flight map. Bombs release will be followed by mythical question objective complete. Message OK. Hi everyone, welcome to the cockpit of the A20. Look at her. Single cockpit, obviously. Uh, we've got crew behind us spanning the guns. Um, we've just got on the autopilot at the moment and she seems to be soaring at the old yoke for a little bit. Just trying to stay in formation. Maybe the wind's a little bit gusty up here. Got another wingman out on the wing tip there. Um, Let's have a quick look where we are, uh, let you know. So we've, we've formed up with the fighters at two, and we're just coming up to the front line now. And this this is where our target... Um, so the speed at waypoint is supposed to be 220, and altitude is going to be 990 feet. Sorry, 9,900 feet. Is that fighters, did they say? I couldn't quite hear. All looking good so far. Anyway, so if we come down here to the bomb site, uh, we can get some of this set up. So uh, speed should be about 220. And we've got it at 3,000. I guess this is meters, which is all good and groovy. Um, let's kind of have a look here and see if there's anything else we need to set up. Wind angle and wind speed. Are they marked up on the map? Did you notice? Uh, no, not really. Uh, we do have the weather balloon, don't we? Um, so it's going to be 24 at about 183. So if we go, um, is that right? Doesn't seem right. Uh, 
Oh well. Well, we'll see how it goes anyway. Okay, as we're just still forming up and coming into the enemy um, target zone, no fighters so far. We're purring nicely. Just going to do a quick crew check. So obviously we've got the pilot, which we're currently occupying at the moment. Then we have the top gunner, which has obviously got a, a fold-out gun here. And then we can go to the gun site to have a proper look. It's all looking good and groovy. Let's have a look. Stick our head up, get blasted by the wind. Lovely. If we come away from him, uh, we then have the dorsal, the lower dorsal um, gunner, and he can have a, uh, a look around. That's the previous position. It's quite an unflattering pose, but um, there we go. So same same deal on this one. We can. Um, uh, hang on, we can, there we go, we can open the hatch, pull down the gun, that locks in there, and then we can uh, take anyone who's coming from our six low, like dugga 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 dugga, nice, good, pop that away, uh, we seem to be getting a bit squirrely, so let's go back to um, the cockpit, and uh, we must be almost coming to our target area, yes we are, I'm right, just going to stick on our flight lead at the moment. Obviously, we're, we're probably spreading out a little bit. Bomb doors open, so let's open our bomb doors. They're bombing. Drop. Right, with our bombs gone, I didn't see how the, um, the targeting went. Well, I hope it, I've recorded it, so hopefully we can uh, get some good footage on that. But no, uh, is that a fighter diving down? We're going to go low. Obviously, now we've dropped our bombs, we're going low and fast by the looks of it. So that's what we'll uh, we'll do. We'll hang on with our rest of our guys been a very gentle and quiet mission so far we had a little bit of light flack over the target nothing to write home about but the bombs have been delivered not sure of the accuracy as I said but we're gonna head home and hopefully there's a lot of radio chatter, which makes me think there's enemy fighters in the area, but we're going to do what we can and um, stay with the formation and try and protect each other with our defensive guns. Hi guys, we've got what looks to be 109s coming in. I can see him. I can see you. Going low. Who else do we have? Where were the others? Oh, 
So right, we're with the other formation. We should be reasonably okay. Oh, who's that? Our fighters are keeping occupied at the time, uh, so it's okay. They haven't got a clean run on us, which is good. Our little friends are helping us out big time. Where's he gone? Got fighters here somewhere. He ducked below us, and then we couldn't see him from the, uh, the gun down there. Fortunately, the little friends kept them busy for so long. They probably oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I see him. Can't get him. Oh, we were out of ammo! No! We don't get much in the way of um, ammo in these little boxes. Probably a couple of seconds worth and that's it. Which makes um, firing very precarious. You've got to be very cautious with it. Not like the 50 cals in the B-17 where you, you've got the, uh, the ammo feed and you can just fire away until you're out.
Hi guys, welcome back. We're just coming around. I take this as home base. Uh, we've, we've descended. Uh, the rest of the bombers are dropping down. What have we got here? We've got some fighters. There's some of the fighters landing. So I'm not sure if this is our home base as well, but we are circling. So okay, we're just orbiting the airfield at the moment, waiting for our um, our time to go and land. Which is fair enough. Uh, not a bad mission from our point of view. If we've managed to get the bombs on target, then uh, it's uh, it's a good day. We've um, managed to stave off fighter attack, thanks mainly to our little friends, keeping them busy. We had a couple of skirmishes, but um, by that point the 109s were low on fuel and low on ammo. Um, so yeah, little friends really did earn their keep today. Whoa. Going a bit low, let's stay with those two boys. It's precarious with all these bombers flying around, isn't it? But I do, this is quite a pleasant aircraft to fly, I have to say. It's, um, it's very forgiving, very easy to fly. Uh, landing, not so sure, we'll find out in a second. Oh, if I don't stall out, that is. I'm going to have to do a little bit more practice with the old um, bomb site. Uh, we just bombed with the leader today, which is fair enough. You know, that's what they tends to happen. But um, going forward, I think we'll uh, need to understand that a little bit more. Okay, gear down. Flaps down. Hello, sunshine. Uh, we're following flight lead it down. I'm not going to wait for my call, we're just going to land on the other side of the runway, should be okay. Coming at a nice descent now, flaps down. Now this is a tricycle landing gear, so we've got the nose wheel. So we've got to remember to... Um, Flare slightly before we touch down, like you would do on a commercial flight aircraft, such as a Boeing or an Airbus, but not to that extent. Skim these trees. Oh, that's not bad. I'll take that. Bit of wheel brakes to slow us down, and uh, I guess we'll go and um, park over here. Oh, we'll follow, follow the, the route off, I think. And there we have it, mission accomplished, completed secondary objective, landing primary target. Taff in exile, successfully landed. Um, looking at the bomb statistics, it didn't look like we hit anything. But hey, we weren't lead bomber, we just bombed when the flight lead did. But um, yeah, so we won't take any responsibility for that. Okay, here we are. Taff Exalski has been awarded the medal for Battle Merit, early, nice. And we've also been awarded the Aviation Emblem, nice. There we go. Um, so, Sergei, he got, what's these, planes? He got three aircraft on the ground and two vehicles. We hit sod all. Um, Leonard Drozd Drozdov. 
he got uh, aircraft and um, vehicles plus two buildings. Um, so we got six aircraft altogether, four air vehicles, and two buildings were damaged during that mission. The rest of us all missed, but that's okay. Uh, he's a deputy commander, which is good. Leonid Drozdov was awarded the Order of the Red Star. So we got two medals. He got a, a big fancy one as well, which is quite nice. Well, that has been um, an okay mission. We succeeded. The squadron managed to achieve its objectives. We destroyed the airfield. Uh, our individual bombs did not cause any major damage. But as a unit, we have succeeded in the mission and we brought all the aircraft home. Fantastic. So that is the bomber side of the uh, campaign. So we might well um, do that. I might start another um, fighter campaign or another fighter career in the P-40. Uh, and we may see how we get on there. Or I might continue that one actually. And I'll rotate it between bomber and fighter. So we get both sides of the conflict. How does that sound? The... The career I have in the uh, the fighter, in the P-40, is in the Battle of Stalingrad. This is obviously in the Battle of Kuban. Um, but, you know, it's the same it's the same uh, game underneath, as it were. Just two, obviously, different parts of the story from different um, parts of the uh, offensive. So we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, hit that thumbs up and maybe hit the subscribe button and tickle the bell next to it so you get all the video notifications. And I will see you next time.